Hi fellow birdies, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are at our local Chipotle in Cordova, Tennessee, and we're gonna be checking out their new smoked brisket. Now, this is actually available exclusively to Chipotle Rewards members, but it's gonna be coming out on the 23rd, so like the day after you guys see this, it already been out for a day. Mm -hmm. So since we're a Chipotle Rewards member, we got early access, and he's got a burrito version of it. Mm -hmm. And I ended up getting the Super Greens salad. So his contains fajita veggies, tomatola green chili salsa, sour cream cheese, lettuce, brown rice, and black beans. Mm -hmm. And my salad has guacamole, fajita veggies, fresh tomato salsa, and tomatola green chili salsa. Mm -hmm. Now this new item is basically, you know, beef that's smoked until tender, charred on the grill, and seasoned with Mexican spices, including fire-roasted jalapenos and chipotle chili peppers. The protein is hand-chopped in restaurant and finished in a new brisket sauce made with smoky chili peppers. What a mouthful. So let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, that looks so good. I haven't had one of these before, so it's gonna be kind of a bit different. You can see there's the, the brisket. And let's see your burrito. Mm. That's a big burrito. Well, it's a burrito, so it's not going to show that much, but it definitely on the big side. Yummy, yummy. Mmm. I definitely like the taste of it. Mm hmm. I thought I was kind of like, you know, dubious about the first bit. It's actually pretty good. Let me try some more. It looks like there's sour cream and rice in this, which is not not ordered, but oh well. Mm-hmm. That's I definitely have you know lettuce. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, black beans, rice. Let's see, they got everything else I ordered. It's definitely got, to me, like especially if you eat it with the different things, a uh, bit of like a, a smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. Now I actually tested this out um, in Cincinnati, Ohio, in Sacramento, California this past November, and we're just now releasing it to, you know, the nationwide. because it did really well and I can see why. Mm -hmm. To me I kind of like it better when it's uh, mixed with the salsa. The salsa seems to bring it more of the flavor to me. I don't see that much of the salsa in my just a little bit. But I do agree that it goes well together. Now, one mistake I feel I made is I made this just like I normally have it with, you know, some tomato sauce, some mm -hmm. cheese, you know, some sour cream. And I worry that maybe it overwhelms some of the flavors. Right. But the more you have in there, the more it kind of overwhelms and takes over the flavors of the um, the other stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you're trying on an item, you might want to try it first without adding so many additions to it. Yeah, I should have realized that first. That was my mistake. And those taste definitely like a beef brisket. So I haven't had one in a while. Now usually when we had brisket at my folks house, it was kind of like a bit saltier. I think this one yeah, combines very well. Like, the smoky flavor goes well. I think they said they combine with Mexican spices. Yeah, Mexican spices. And correct me if I'm wrong, isn't like brisket more of a southern thing? I think it is. I have to look that up. So it's definitely a good combination. I wonder if like, I might... They sell a brisket um, sandwich with like say Arby's. I believe it was like a smoked brisket. Mm-hmm. 
And I think you can find brisket at like, you know, other locations here too, but like, I'm not sure. Yeah, like. I definitely like the way that like the southern and the Mexican foods combine a little bit. Mm-hmm. There's like a lot of recipes I've found lately that are combining different kinds of cuisines together. Like say if you have um, a southern recipe and there's something Mexican like a flair added to it. Mm -hmm. And they actually work really well together. So yeah, like this brisket right here, delicious. Is brisket usually expensive or not so much? Well, I'll, I'll admit, it is like 10 bucks for the filling by itself, so it's one of the more expensive fillings compared to like, say, chicken or steak or carnitas, barbacoa, so yep. I mean, this was alone was like 12 bucks, and yours was like, I think, 10 so about $24 for this whole meal with tax. Hmm. And we didn't even get chips or a drink. So, it's very pricey. What how much the meat cost? Like, is it more or less expensive than steak? It's more expensive than steak. <laughs> like, not here, but in general, like at the store. I don't have to check the prices to you. I don't know. And but, can... steak is typically expensive. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't really ever really do it on our channel because it's very pricey. I get you. I bet they want, like, because with the pandemic, a lot of, like, you know, restaurants are trying to boost profit or reduce costs. That's why you've seen the massive slate of, like, new chicken sandwiches and mm -hmm. such. I do admit that there's some parts of this that do taste, like, a little bit dry. Like, the meat is kind of a bit dry. It's not, like, moist, but mm -hmm. the taste is still good, but it's just a little bit on the dry. Well, say if I ever went here, I wouldn't get this. But I would also get other things too. Can I try some of yours? Mm-hmm. Let's see. I was watching Timmy's takeout last night when he did this too, and he actually likes it better when it's like in a um, burrito bowl or a taco. I actually agree with it. Try this. I think yours is better, you know. Yeah, like, I don't like the mixture of flavors that yours has so much. It kind of takes away from the brisket. So. But overall, I mean, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a limited time thing. I kind of wish I would just keep it on the menu, but... I'd probably give it a three out of four myself. Again, for those who aren't familiar with our rating scale, one means don't like it. Two means it's okay. Well, you know, even if someone gives it to us. Three means we'll order it at the restaurant. Like, if we're at a buffet, we'd add it to our plate. Four means we go to the restaurant to have it. Right. This, I might say a, you know, two or three, trying to decide. Like, $10 is pricey. Mm hmm Definitely, definitely pricey. But, if you want to enjoy some good brisket, it might be worth the price every once in a while. Not an everyday thing for sure. But, once in a while, if you're creating a brisket, mm -hmm. go treat yourself. Yeah, you like, know? I'd say yours is probably a three. Yeah. Mine's probably a two. That much you can do. Yeah, this like, makes me want to try to like make like a, a brisket sandwich sometime. <laughs> I'll find a recipe for it. The brisket's really good. Mm -hmm. A really good type of meat. <laughs> I 
I know my grandparents used to make brisket on a fairly regular basis. I wonder if there's any recipes from them. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, like, I'm, you know, rate, I'm lowering the rates. Like basically, this was like McDonald's price. I might give it a three, but since it's, you know, 10 bucks yeah, for, you know, one burrito, I'm going to give it a two, a two. I should put this. If I go to like a $30 a meal steakhouse, I expect a higher quality for that price I pay. If I'm going to Walmart, I'm not, you know, like basically, if this is a Walmart dish, I'd give it like a three easily. But, not Walmart, McDonald's dish. I'm being stupid. Like, if I'm paying 30 bucks or something, I'm paying 10 bucks or something, I judge it a little bit more harshly. Like, it's not gonna bring it down to like a two, or a pass a two, but, you know, for you know, ten bucks, it's okay. Um, I'm still probably still get my rating of a three, especially since I had the you know, salad of it. The taste was good. The meat was a little bit dry, though, but I did like the smoky flavor. And when you combined it with, like, say, the sour cream, which I tried it with guacamole, but it made the flavor a lot better, enhanced it, and overall, I mean, I like it okay. It's just the price that's kind of keeping me from maybe like. Raising it to a four as well as the dryness too, but overall it was pretty decent. Yeah, yours was good. Like that one, I like. I definitely like to have more in the future. <laughs> like that one, I'd give a three salt, even with the extra price. Like with mine, it was basically just I had the ingredients. Yeah, like I didn't really taste much of the brisket. Uh, I like, honestly, I, brisket in that. yeah, honestly, I prefer the regular burrito. Mm-hmm. Me too. But anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed us reviewing and trying out Chipotle's new smoked brisket. If you haven't tried one yet, go to your nearest location and give it a shot. And, you know, leave your thoughts and opinions about it below in the comments section. We look forward to reading those. Mm -hmm. If you all haven't done so already, be sure to click that red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to see notifications. And we will see you guys in the next video. This is Crystal. And Charles. Signing off. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.